What's up guys, we got a special video coming today. We got the best of the best Instagrammers together. <laughs> Just kidding, but we're going on a shed hunt. We got Bridget, Fable, Josh, what up? Antler Trader. Hey! We got Brittany, shed hunting babes, and this yeah. silly guy. What's up fellas and ladies, how you doing? <laughs> and ladies. Just making sure I don't want to forget the females out there. <laughs> Uh, what are you whipping up? He's oh, I'm you got this. great. That's the new this. Mountain Op secret uh, secret product. It's not even out yet. Here's how their packaging looks. They won't even tell you. This is the this incoming. Is the <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Getting Mountain Ops and then cosmic brownies hey, and tortillas. <laughs> <laughs> all the tricks, all the tricks of the trade. Secret. I wasn't sure if this was just a joke on your Instagram. This is the real deal, guys. He actually takes them. Dude, I'm not messing around. He stands behind. This is my whole box, and then I got a couple of spares floating just in case. <laughs> These are like a couple of emergencies only. <laughs> Food storage. Oh man. We all got together to go shed hunt. It's uh, late January. It's probably about 45 degrees. It's nice and sunny, a little breezy. But we are gonna spread out and hit these hills, these little draws across the way, and try to get some mule deer shed. So, what do you think? We're gonna kill it. <laughs> I'm eating pork rinds. So I get charged up. You know what? Energy. I have the worst diet in the world. What's your goal? <laughs> Do you know what diamonds have? Uh, I want to find at least one giant mule deer shed. Just one giant one? <laughs> That'll work. Goals? Uh, two, three hundred sheds for the day. I don't, I don't ever aim. <laughs> I'm never breaking. I want to break two hundred to between two hundred to ten deadhead today. Oh, he's going deadhead. Yeah, why not? Everybody I just else wants sheds. Find one. That's like I'm me and Britt are. Uh, I'm the same. I'm shooting low today. One deer shed is my goal. Starting to gain a little elevation here, getting a look at some of this land. I was gonna cut right, but I think I'm gonna actually cut left. These draws right here ahead of me, they're open enough. I feel like I could glass. I love to glass for sheds. It's tough for deer sheds just because they can hide. But I think in this country, especially if it's a good one, and uh, white obviously, should be easy to pick out. So I think that'll be my game plan. Get high and then just bounce ridge to ridge. Like that ridge in the skyline with cactus. It just looks good to me. That's my game plan. I think we're all gonna split up and go our separate ways and meet back at the truck in a couple hours. I'm just up here sitting on this high point and Ben is right below me. I was messing with him, telling him I'm gonna glass all the sheds in front of him. <laughs> he walked right up on one I can't see. So he's picking one up right now, right in front of me. Well, we're just barely into this walk, about a half hour or so, and uh, I got a shed. It's not quite what we came out here for, but it's a good start. Let's us know that they're in the area. So uh, I'm not gonna pretend I'm not excited. You know, people always act like they're not excited, so it's not that big of a deal to them. Like, oh yeah, no big deal, found a shed. But I got one right here. <laughs> Eric's trying to yell at my video. Hey, cool it. I'm trying to look cool on the internet. <laughs> so there it is, not too bad. We'll take it. It's actually pretty long on the back end, but it's chalky. Well, we're down the first couple hours of the day, so I'm gonna head back to the truck. I haven't found anything. Nothing at all. I know Ben found that one right in front of me. I'm not sure what he's found since. But after hiking around where I have, if I'm gonna find a shed, it's gonna be from here to the truck because so far this last little piece of country I'm going through has the most deer tracks in it. 
So where I've been is just basically really open and this has got more brush, more trees, better cover for beds and stuff. So fingers crossed that from now to the truck, in the last 15 minutes I come across something. If not, well, saw a lot of cool stuff up here. And uh, we'll just carry on to the next spot. <laughs> oh, <laughs> We're doing Tokyo Drift on this muddy road. road. That's the we found it. <laughs> ah, you lucky awesome. sucker. <laughs> you're stuck right there. <laughs> that's a big horn, dude. Yeah, yeah, dude. Right off the road. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Score. <laughs> big Shetty picking him up. Oh, wow. <laughs> Is it really? That's hilarious. Oh, That's too funny. No one has seen that. That's wild. Right there. Way funny. Oh, so we're driving down the road. <laughs> I'm back in the mud. Time for the pickup. Let's get it close. <laughs> okay, epic. <Ooh>. Slow mo. <laughs> I love big. I love big threes like that with tall backs. Yeah, yeah bro. It's pretty cool. Got some pretty decent mass on it. Still got good color. Road bow and I'll take it any day. <laughs> <laughs> that was hilarious as we're drifting, cruising on that road. The mud is so bad down here in the bottom of this draw. Well, there's this other side at. Let's drive the crazy again. See if we can come out. <laughs> Should we hike up on the hill? <laughs> All right, I better start looking around. So, uh, me and Brer just sitting up over here. She went up one side of the canyon that we come up. I went up the other. Eric. And uh, Bridget went up one side of the hill and Ben went up another. Um, we just decided to hit, do a little quick loop around in some of this country for about an hour. And Ben just found that shed right off the road. And uh, we're sitting right over here glassing all this open south facing slope. Everything on the north is still pretty covered in snow. And we still got some a little bit on this uh, east face and stuff. But... We're just glassing over to the southwest face and stuff, and uh, right here in the bottom along the fence line, I glassed up a shed. Looks like a pretty good one too. I don't know how how old it is or really how big it is yet. We're kind of working down there right now, so let's uh, get down this and see what we got. It's kind of hard to see. Let me see if I can get folks steady here. It's right. Let me get my finger right here. Right there. Tip of my finger. Brit's working down there now, and I'm on me. I'm on my way. Go team Corbin! Heck yeah! <laughs> That's a rad horn right there. I, mean, I think I know what deer that might be. I'm not a hundred percent, but. I think I know. It's always fun to come down on them and be like, oh, it's got extras. This and that. I'm going to have you pick it up. You want to have me pick it up? I'm going to have you pick it up so you can show it off. Thank you, thank you. Uh, thank you. Oh, he's cool. Look at that. Look at that, you guys. Heck yeah, I know what deer that is. Do you? Uh-huh. Stud. It's been sitting out here for a little while, but that's just freaking red. So what are the chances of matching them up, do you think? Probably not. Do you know someone has it? Uh, if it's the deer, I'm thinking, yes. The other side is picked up. Right on. We love it. We love it. We love it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, um, thank you, thank you. Might walk up this draw and back down it real quick and see what no. else we can find. I bet I got, he jumped the fence and it fell off. Yep, I'll bet so too. Um, gotta look at the clock and see. We were only given, we didn't even take our backpacks with us because we were only gonna get a, a quick hour hour walk before we moved. A tester. Yeah. I'll see what time it is. So. It is 1.15. Yep, time to go. So, that's all right. We'll take it. How'd you guys do? How'd we do? Uh, <laughs> you dog, dude. I know. Is that the map? Dude, that looks so much like the one you found last time with me. Yeah. <laughs> All the extras thing, and stuff. Oh, dude, I love it. Well, we broke down, guys. It's cool. For the second time on the trip. But Josh says he can 
MacGyver it up and by the by the time it's dark we should come back and he'll be done so good luck Josh yeah we got this and he just wants us to go shed hunt so all right we're gonna go shed hunt and hope that by the time we make it back he's got it fixed try to fix it once with electrical tape and uh didn't work so off to shed country we go at least i am see you guys oh killer cows i had duct tape in here uh oh they took it out and brought it with us they down look, there because they didn't have they look mad well we didn't round up any sheds on that hike but look at uh how this ended up looking it's a little muddy and it's hard to walk in yeah you got the crispy boots trying to wash them off but i hope we can get out of this dang thing that's what i'm thinking if not we burn this tree all night long <laughs> But a good day. I was just thinking earlier. Yep. Just being up here in the sunshine beats being in Salt Lake. So it's been good. No sheds, but that's all right.